fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Batman vs. Swamp Thing Armory Attack Bat Cycle set from the Spin Master Batman line. Uh, this thing looks really cool. If you know me at all, uh, Swamp Thing is one of my favorite DC characters. So when I heard the set was happening, I was very excited. I definitely wanted to get my hands on Swamp Thing there. He is exclusive to this set. As you can see, it says exclusive figures. Now, that's not to say they won't paint him differently and release him singly later on. In fact, I would probably bet that's going to happen. So you could probably hold out if you don't really care about the rest of this set. But it looks kind of neat. We have a new version of Batman here. And we have the Armory Attack Bat Cycle. So if we flip this around to the other side, it's got some kind of gimmick where you can like put all the weapons in and then rotate it. So that he can kind of access them you know, on the fly. We'll have to see how that works. But you have kind of this cool like swamp scene artwork here. And then we got Swamp Thing attacking. Although I don't know why usually Swamp Thing and Batman would be allies. I don't know. Um, although there was that really great Alan Moore run. Anyway, uh, let's check this out. I think this all looks pretty cool. Packaging just kind of really just has pictures of Batman over and over. Bat symbol over here. Oh, okay, so this I guess is showing us how the gimmick works. Okay, we'll have to wait and see how that goes. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything out of the packaging here, and we'll take a closer look. So here's everything you get in the set. Of course, here we have Swamp Thing with his little axe weapon. We'll come back to him in a moment as we take a look at Batman and the Armory Attack Bat Cycle. So we will take a look at Batman himself first. Now, we've seen this mold for Batman several times, but still holding up. Uh, he does have a little bit of kind of flashing just around the head. I'll probably have to clean that up a little bit. Not that big a deal, but you can kind of just see like those little tags. Uh, head can move side to side, no problem there. Nice paint applications for the eyes and the face. You have a little bit of this kind of silvery gunmetal gray for the shoulder pads and the utility belt, which I think looks pretty sharp and does go all the way around the back. And then he's got some orange here, the bat symbols outlined in orange, which I actually think looks really sleek. And then you have a little bit of orange here on his like forearm gauntlets. So overall, a pretty cool little design here. He's got a hinge and a rotation in the shoulder. He's got a hinge and a rotation in the elbow. The forearm and the hand are one solid piece, so no wrist articulation there. Nothing in the waist, but he does have some ball joints here at the hips, so he can kick pretty far forward, uh, pretty far out to the side. Can't really go back, though, because he's got kind of a butt flap going on there. He does have thigh swivels as well. And then you have a hinge and a rotation at the knee. And then from the knee down is one solid piece, so nothing in the ankle. But pretty good for a 4-inch figure. Uh, the cape is a little messed up because of the way it was stored in the packaging. It was kind of all bunched up. like through it. There's a hole through the plastic tray, and it was all kind of bunched up behind it. So hopefully over time that will smooth out. But you can see that there is a hole in the cape so that if you wanted to peg something into this hole in the back, you could do it with the cape still down, which I think is kind of nice. But yeah, overall, it's a decent little Batman figure. I kind of like the design. A little simplistic, but I think they've picked some good colors here, so I kind of like that a lot. So the Armory Attack Bat Cycle. Uh, it's okay. It's not the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Batman fell over. You can't see me. He's off camera. Uh, but it's all right. It kind of reminds me of his little motorcycle from The Dark Knight, the movie. Um, it rolls fairly well. You have a cool little, like, bat fin going on here. Uh, you have the bat symbol here and a really nice silver paint, which I think looks pretty sharp. And then it looks like it has a kickstand here, uh, but it doesn't actually deploy. You don't really need it, though. It's not really going to fall over, honestly. The wheels are wide enough that you should be fine with it. So how this is supposed to work, you have these two pieces here that you can just uh, pop off. And then you can see that uh, they have a spot here for Batman to hold on to them. So you would take them and put these in Batman's hand like this. So he kind of has them as like arm gauntlets. And then what you're supposed to do is you can see that these pieces here have slid into these sections here on this rotating piece. So this slides in like that. And then Batman is supposed to take the gauntlet and slide this in like that. And then, you know, take it out. And now he's got like, a, I guess this is a crossbow. I'm assuming that's what that is. Um, so there you go. So now he has equipped this one. If he wants to change, you would take this out and slide this back in here. And then this entire midsection here, you can grab onto this kind of like off-white silvery dial piece and spin this 
and that will spin around and now he has a different option so then you could take this one and slide it in and then this would slide out and now he's got kind of a laser cannon I guess that's what this is not quite sure but there you go and you do have two of them so if you want to put one in each hand you absolutely can and he can have up to two of these at the same time and then you would just put this one back in and then you would slide again for the third option which is again just another kind of laser gun or maybe a harpoon gun of some kind maybe a grappler i guess it could technically be like a grappler gun so you would just slide this in here and then maybe you could have him grapple up the side of a building or something like that so it's kind of a neat gimmick it's not the worst thing i've seen um if we spin this around and so like it's just this piece here that spins so like you could even do it while he's riding it does have clearance so that it won't hit the ground which is cool so you can have this spinning around so if he's you know in pursuit of somebody and he's like oh wait i need this and you can hit a button i mean obviously there's no button here it's all just in my mind but <laughs> he could have this rotate around use the one that he needs and then still be moving forward because it will clear while it goes around so that's kind of cool uh, and then if you don't want to use this there is storage for both of them here you just kind of slide this in like so and so both of those will store there on the back so that's kind of cool i mean i guess technically you could even have these store there if you like the look of that better so not bad and then popping them on here is pretty simple you can do it with the cape down or have the cape go behind whichever you prefer he's got these two little control handles down here he can grab onto them um it's a little difficult honestly he doesn't even need to he's not going to fall off or anything but you can have him grab onto those and then rules pretty well so i mean it's all right and they did kind of carry over the orange color scheme from his uh gauntlets here to the center so it's okay i mean there have been a lot of different bat cycles you know in this line they're always they're always putting batman and some kind of vehicle in a box with a villain and you really just want the villain character but you know there's no way to get him exclusively at least for right now uh, he is exclusive to this box like i said would not be surprised if they go ahead and release him singly later after they sold a decent amount of these because that's what they like to do but they'll probably give him at least a different color scheme of some kind but i think he looks pretty cool he's definitely very stylized i like the head sculpt though he's kind of got like a tree beard going on there which looks great the red for the eyes is really really nice they nailed that and I just really like the design. You can see the vines all here in the torso. He's kind of got some like bark pieces here. I like how they have the different shades of green. You have this kind of more like brownish green transitioning into the really bright green. And I just think they did a really good job with that. Then he's got like brown down here kind of looking like tree trunks. This little weapon is not the most successful, but it's fine. It looks like he's fashioned some kind of axe out of you know tree bark or vines or something which is kind of cool uh it's a little difficult to get into his hand because it's a very very soft plastic and i'm kind of afraid that i'm going to tear it but uh this the handle is a very very malleable plastic this part's kind of solid up here uh but it's just hard to get in and out of his hand because it's you know so malleable but uh he looks good i really do like this figure a lot head can turn side to side just like with batman He's got the same kind of hinge and rotation uh, in both the shoulders and the elbows. Again, nothing in the wrist, nothing in the waist. He's got the ball joint for the hip. He's got the thigh swivel. And then he does have knees. He has the hinge and the rotation in the knee, which is kind of cool. Because a lot of times for these larger figures, like we saw with Solomon Grundy, they don't always have knee joints based on how top-heavy they are. And I think this guy, luckily, is not super top-heavy. So they were able to give him those knee joints. And then he's got a little hole in the back if you wanted to peg something in there, just like with Batman. But I think he's pretty cool. I really like the the different, you know, variations of green and brown and how it kind of like gradiates into them as it goes around the figure. I think that looks really cool. I really like the head design. I kind of like giving him the little beard. I think that kind of works. It's a very stylized take on Swamp Thing. I think it's pretty cool. He doesn't really have... I mean, he does to some extent... 
But Swamp Thing has that kind of like triangle on his face, which I feel like he's very known for. And they have kind of a version of that, but it's a little different. But it works. I think they did a really nice job. They really nailed the eyes. I feel like that's all his personality comes from the paint job on the eyes and all the sculpt around it. And they did a really great job with that. So I think this is a really fun figure. Um, again, if you don't care about the Batman or the Bat Cycle, I completely understand. Um, but I think the whole set was 20 bucks, which I feel like is pretty fair because these figures are usually around $8 a piece. So you're kind of paying $8, $8, and then maybe $4 for the figure or for the Bat Cycle rather. So I feel like that's fairly reasonable. Um, but yeah, the, the Swamp Thing is great. If they don't ever do a single release Swamp Thing and you don't get this set, then I'd say you're missing out, but there's really no way for you to know until they eventually release a Swamp Thing. But by then, maybe it'll be too late to find this set. It's relatively new. I got mine on Amazon. Uh, they just shipped it to me. I had pre-ordered it, and then they said, we don't know when we're getting this. And then the next day, they said, we shipped it. So it was pretty much a roller coaster ride on that one. But uh, it's a great set. I think it's been out for a bit, because my friend Corey, who also collects these... Uh, said people were finding them at, like, Myers in the Midwest. Uh, and that was probably back in November, I want to say. So I feel like it's been out for a bit. But hopefully it'll get kind of a wider release. But I think it's a fun set. Honestly, of all the bat cycles they've done, the weird little Batman vehicles, this one's not bad. And even if you don't really want to bother with the gimmick, you could take all these pieces off, and it's kind of a decent-looking bat cycle. It kind of looks neat. So I think, you know, either way... This is a fun set for 20 bucks. I feel like the price is fair. You get two pretty good figures and a decent little vehicle there. So I recommend it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.